AutoBleam version 0.7, actually 0.7.1 Ultimate was just released. And we did do a video earlier this morning showcasing a lot of the cool new features, showing how everything works and looks. I think it's pretty amazing. A lot of you guys did watch this video. Uh, and a handful of you guys were asking, hey, how do I update from a previous version? So it is a very simple process, but some people would like to have a visual to make sure they're doing things properly. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. So with this new version, one of the biggest features is that we can now load RetroArch emulators through Evolution UI on AutoBleam, and it is an awesome feature. So if you have a previous build with RetroBoot, RetroArch with a bunch of games and artwork, I wanna make sure you guys get this set up properly. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today real quick. So the first thing you're gonna do is navigate to this GitHub page. The link will be in the description to make it easy for you. But like I said, it was just updated to version 0.1 uh, this morning because there was an issue with the previous 0.7 build uh, that this one fixes the classic UI and compatibility. So you may wanna update to this one. The change log, everything is here. We've already covered all this in the previous video. So let's get this party started. What you're gonna do is go ahead and download this right here, AutoBleam 0.7.1 Ultimate Retroboot. Dot zip. It's a 444 megabyte download. Uh, this is the only option you have here. They did remove all the other stuff, the cover databases, all that good nonsense that really, I mean, most people just grab the, the main one that had everything included. So that's what we're using today. If you need the cover databases, you can use the assets from previous release. So once you got that going, go ahead and extract that. Um, I used 7-zip, extract it, got the folder right here. So this is going to be the new files right here. You can go ahead and move this. And this is my previous build that we got going on. So the first thing we're going to do on the previous build is delete the AutoBleam folder and this string of numbers and letters. Just delete them. Get rid of them. We don't need them anymore. So that'll take a quick second. Boom. She's done. And then what we're left with is, is these. The only other thing that you could delete unless you want to back up any other themes that you have is, is the theme folder. Uh, I just use whatever stock with it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I know there's some updates with the new version. Now, if you have RetroArch games on your previous build, uh, do not delete the RetroArch folder. I know this README file tells you to back up your playlists, your saves, and all that stuff. Uh, but there's a lot of other things that you would need to back up to make sure this functions properly. So sure, you can go through here, uh, back up your saves, your save states, like copy my copy, my playlist down here, just in case uh, your playlists, your thumbnails, all that stuff. There's a lot of stuff that you really would need to back up, but there's really no point in it. You don't really have to worry about that. What we're going to do is just simply copy that folder over and let it overwrite that. But first, let's go back to the beginning. Let's copy from the new build, the new release, the auto bleam and the string of numbers and letters. Let's copy that to our previous build. Uh, that'll take just a second. Um, with the RetroArch part, say you do want to back everything up and start transferring back and forth, it, it's going to take a lot longer to get updated. So that's why I do it this way and I have no issues. So the next thing I'm going to throw back over here is the themes folder that does have the new themes on there or the updated versions of the themes. Got that set up. There we go. Uh, the other thing um, is our ROMs and our games folder. Don't don't touch those. Just, just leave those be for now. Uh, you don't want to mess with that unless you're adding games. The games folder is all our Sony PlayStation 1 games. Uh, the ROMs is all our RetroArch, all our retro consoles. So just in case if you downloaded another uh, build that somebody put out there, you may not be too familiar with the, the file structure here, but we've gotten that stuff out of the way. Next thing is going to be the RetroArch folder from the new build. Like I said, don't delete anything uh, from this. A lot of times they say just delete the folder after you backed everything up, but it's really not a necessary step, at least in my opinion, because I've never had an issue. So from the new build, copy over that RetroArch folder to your previous build. Uh, it'll take a second. It's kind of calculating things, looking at what the heck's on the the, the target drive here, and it will ask you, uh, it's stating right here, this destination has 1,787 files with the same names. Replace, skip, or let me decide. 
replace the files. Just click that one uh, and it'll go by real quick. Uh, this takes a few seconds. If you do everything individually, backing up, doing all that craziness, it takes a lot longer. Uh, with this, everything that you need is just going to stay on there as far as your like artwork and your your playlists and all that. So I wouldn't really worry about it. But it doesn't do any harm to back that stuff up anyway, just in case. So you may want to do that. I just backed up my playlist because uh, that was the most important thing. But also the thumbnails is another thing. Uh, you don't want to lose this stuff, especially if you have a previous build. It has all your thumbnails for the games. So everything shows up nice. And especially with the way this new version of AutoBleam works, where you can boot up that stuff from Evolution UI, it looks really slick. So you don't want to lose that stuff. So now that we've transferred all that over, just to real quick, briefly go back over what we did, and then we'll boot this up so you guys can see and hopefully everything works. It should work. I have no no doubts in my mind. On our, our original drive, we deleted AutoBleam and the string of text stuff. We deleted the themes folder. From the new build, we copied over AutoBleam and the string of text and numbers. We copied that over because it was no longer on here. Uh, deleted the themes from here, copied the themes over to our previous build. Good to go. RetroArch on our previous build, uh, possibly up to you, we backed up our playlists, our saves, our save states, our thumbnails, so on and so forth. I didn't do that other than my playlist, but it is recommended just in case. Uh, so from there, we left that there. We left our games folder. We left our ROMs folder. We went back to our new version of the build, copied RetroArch over to our original build that we're trying to update. And then we went ahead and clicked on the uh, just transfer everything over. So let's go ahead, boot this up. And see that it works okay so here we go we've got this bad boy booting up let's make sure everything is good so once you boot up and you've done all this stuff it should say the games have changed in auto bleam and to press x to scan so we're going to go ahead and do that i believe i have a little under 300 games for playstation one so it takes a second to update so now that that has updated we're ready to check out auto bleam uh, the one thing I do want to point out, I got two things to point out uh, that I didn't really go too deep into on the previous video, but that X and circle to OK and cancel, that's in this options menu right here. So you kind of have to get used to that. Uh, like if you have background music and you want to turn it off uh, and you just hit circle, it's not going to take. You got to hit X for OK. So keep, keep that in mind. Those options, you got to make sure you're hitting X. Uh, so let's jump into auto bleam. Check out Evolution UI, see if we got our RetroArch games, everything rocking. So there we go, we've got all our PlayStation stuff in here. Let's hit select an L2, and boom, our Retroboot platform games show up. So there's one thing I wanna show in here uh, that I was a little confused with at first, I guess, uh, that Magnus RC actually let me know. Uh, but let's, let's jump into a system, make sure it actually boots up. There we go, awesome, that's what I'm talking about. So let's jump into a game exit out because the one thing that I had an issue with was once you went into here, like, you know, you'd have to hit circle to exit out and it would go all the way back to the beginning screen where you'd have to hit start to go into auto bleam, but you don't actually have to do that uh, to get back to your PlayStation games. Uh, so I'll show that right now, but here we go. NES game, Adventure Island, one of my favorites. Love this game, but hey, this video is not about gameplay. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get too crazy into it. Let's get out of this, let's get out of this. So from here, uh, we're going to go ahead and exit. Yeah, some people don't like this process, but it's just the way it works. It does take us right back to Evolution UI, so not a big deal. You just got to scroll back and hit quit, and it takes you back here once you're in RetroArch from exiting games through RetroArch. So the one thing that, like I said, from here I was like, oh, man, you got to hit O to you know circle to cancel and go back to this screen. Well, that's not actually the case. So let's go back into a system. When you're in a system, one of these retro systems, to go back to your PlayStation games, all you have to do is actually hit select. And boom, takes you right back to your games. So really awesome stuff. You can hit select to cycle through uh, certain things, your favorites, uh, all games, internal games, all that good stuff. So really cool, awesomeness. The other thing that was updated that I didn't really show too much of uh, was the memory card manager. You do have access to that 
in the beginning screen where you can delete, save, copy, like do all sorts of stuff, copy stuff around. Uh, this can be useful for some people, but very nice to have this accessible from the game screens. Uh, so you can also reload cards, defragment cards. You got tons of options here if you need it. Typically for me, it's not something I really missed, but that was a feature that was added. Like I said, it is available from this screen as well. Um, if you hit L1, you can go to memory cards, uh, create new memory cards, all that good stuff, uh, and manage things from there. So there we go. Really, really awesome stuff. Just wanted to do this video for you guys who weren't sure how to update from a previous build because it's very important those steps i think with retroarch to make sure you're either backing everything up or copying over the retroarch folder and just replacing the destination files uh, that way you're still keeping all your thumbnails you're still keeping everything that was set up in the build that you're coming from uh, because otherwise you would have a bunch of you you wouldn't have your playlists anymore if you you know just deleted the retroarch folder that kind of stuff you wouldn't have access this way so the way i'm doing it i think is the simplest, easiest way to make the magic happen. So there you guys go. Hope this video helped. Really do appreciate you guys. Man, you know, the PlayStation Classic is really booming, especially my, so many people got these for like 20 bucks recently. I've got a bunch of them that I actually got for cheaper than that. I may be doing a couple giveaways with some, you know, USB drives and, you know, just getting you guys ready to rock. Keep an eye out for that. That may be in the very near future. Right now we do have another giveaway going on. Link is in the description. Check that out. After that giveaway is done, which is just in a few days, I'm going to be announcing that new giveaway for a Nintendo Switch Lite. So that'll start being linked out there so you can start entering in for that one as well. So stay tuned for that. I will announce that pretty soon. Just trying to give back to you guys. You know what I mean? I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.